Okay, so we are going to Beijing now. And uh, yeah, back at the Hanshan River Station. But uh, okay, now I know where to find the scene and everything. But it's gonna be a pretty short ride compared to the last time. I think only like four hours, four or five hours. Well, guys, it is like 1.50 and we're here at the Beijing Nan Station, Beijing South Station. And uh, yeah, I'll see you shortly after once we go outside. Okay, we're getting out of the Beijing train station. And the first uh, thing in our itinerary is to go to the Summer Palace. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. So there's a lot of people obviously here, uh, tourists like us, and I call these guys the old orange because they're all old people, t you know, having a, having their own orange, tour. The orange old. And yeah, earlier we saw the uh, old blues. I like that name better. They they had the old blues too. Yeah, they took our bus, so we need another one. No, I'm just kidding. The rivals, had, yeah. the rivals, the yeah, the rivals, the orange oldies. Oh my god, McDonald's has taken over even the Imperial Gardens, guys. Yeah, they got McDonald's carts, but I'm not about to sell out to them though, so. <laughs> Remember when I was talking about like the uh, colored hat tourists? There's the old reds, there's also like the old blues, you know, old orange, everything. There's the old whites too, it's crazy. Alright, we're going in! And here is, I guess, the official insides of the, the garden area. Ming Lake and the Longevity Hill. Many consider you know, two parts. The lake occupied three quarters of the whole area. Imitated from uh, West Lake in Hangzhou, you know, the other capital city I mentioned, Hangzhou. If you go to Hangzhou, you were able to see a big lake in the city. So it's imitation of Hangzhou West Lake. And then Longevity Hill. Uh, both were semi manmade, semi manmade. So 800 years ago, there was a little pond of water, a small mountain existed. And in uh, 1750, Emperor Qianlong of Qing Dynasty. 1750 mm -hmm. developed it, developed it for his mother's 60th anniversary, 60th birthday, as a birthday present. So the lake got enlarged, the mountain extended with the soil out of the lake so when they dig in the lake. So both of them remember. So uh, Summer Palace was a summer vacation spot for uh, several Qing Dynasty summer vacation spots. And it's also known by foreigners as New Summer Palace because uh, uh, 1860, English and French initiated the second opium war, destroyed Summer Palace, and it was rebuilt by Empress Dowager Cixi, Cixi Taihou, the Dragon Lady, Cixi Taihou. And in 1900, it was destroyed again during the re, uh, during the Boxer Rebellion. Boxer Rebellion. So it was a period when the uh, uh, people you know, against the foreign foreigners and foreign influence destroyed the churches and killed the foreign missionaries. So that resulted in the invasion of another eight foreign countries. They allied to invade Beijing. So it destroyed again. And it was immediately rebuilt by same same lady, Empress Dowager Cixi, or Dragon Lady. So she was infamous in the history of China. So she started the period uh, power behind the throne, or holding court from behind the curtain. So the, she was, uh, uh, how to say, uh, the actual ruler of the country. Emperor was just a puppy. Check this out. That is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna take a boat, right? Across this pond eventually, towards the end. Yeah, towards the end, when the final finale concludes for this trip. Wow, that is awesome. Ah, real life bullet trees, boys. I hope you guys have 30 wood cutting to experience this. Oh, that's the highest point of Summer Palace. Highest, highest point. point. A oh. Buddhist tower. Buddhist tower. Oh, Empress Dowager Sushi live in this building. Okay. Oh yeah. She was. Uh, she was a. Uh, this one. Uh, this hated by a lot of Chinese people. I hate her too. Yes. <laughs> I read the history. By most of Chinese people. Mm -hmm. did nothing good. Yeah. She didn't care about people at all. Yeah. She spent so too much for pleasure. Yeah, all, she, all she pursued was three things: power, pleasure, luxury. Uh -huh. Power, pleasure, yeah. luxury. Every day, Every day. She, uh, she ate 350 watermelons. <laughs> 350 what? watermelons. What? Uh, I mean, she only got the best part, of it, the center part. Of it. Yeah, yeah. What? 350 watermelons. Okay, I didn't know about that. She also she, yeah. no, no, not the whole thing. That's the best part of the watermelon. Oh, the center. The center, the center oh the center, my god! Exactly. What a waste! Yeah, and uh, she also had the habit of drinking, uh, drinking breast milk. Oh my god! Drinking breast milk. Crumbs? No. Yeah, for, 
like other she people. She thought of it as a uh, tonics for youth. Tonics for youth. Oh. She had a lot of oh. nursing ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah. The city. Oh, she yeah. She drank it every day. It's gross. You know, for her best uh, birthday celebration, this one, one time, 50th birthday, she spent uh, 80 million US dollars. 80 million! Equivalent. 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 Wow, still, equivalent. that's so much. 80 money. million US on, on for one birthday celebration. What did what? she do? Yeah, we're just doing a loop around the pond area. We, we barely just started, but wow. The, the art on these support beams are crazy. Yeah, legit. And yeah, we're just walking over and uh, from the side you can still see the, the pond. It's a huge area. It's supposed to be four times the area of the, of the uh, Forbidden City. So that is the marble boat, guys. Okay. This boat doesn't move because it's made of marble, but wow, that, 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 that is literally the marble Tony, boat. Tony, let's fire this one up. <laughs> fire this one up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll get a nice zoom in for the homies out there. Mm. Wow. That is crazy. Just for show, you know? Went through all this trouble. To craft such a beautiful thing out of freaking marble. I wonder if this is all in one piece. Probably not. It's probably like multiple pieces put together. Wow, that's crazy though. The amount of work put into this. Jeez, and, and inside too. They have... Wow, they got some crazy decorations. It has an AX zoom stand, so it's pretty dope. Wow. It is like... The decoration is intense. That's cool. And then we're gonna take one of these uh, dragon ferry cruises across the river to the other side. Here is our personalized custom dragon boats. Okay, so we are now moving in the ferry. It took a while for, for it to start moving, but yeah, we're in the middle, the hut of the, you know, the garden. So yeah. Yeah, so I actually wanted to go up there so we can get a view from up there. Aerial view, but we didn't. Because we're rushing to uh, eat some, you know, Peking duck or Beijing duck, you know. <laughs> this uh, pond is quite large, that's for sure. Looks really nice. We are getting out of here. That was really short. I, I wish we spent more time, you know, visiting the other places, but it's time for some Peking duck. Okay, so Stanley's getting swindled right now. This guy is, you know, selling him some. Some nice Rolex in the bag. I didn't want to record it too much though, but yeah, he's trying to, you know, offer. Like, look at that inside, it's sexy ass Rolexes, man. It was gonna sell for a thousand, but we instantly dropped it to uh, 50 quai. 40, 40. 40 quai, all right. And we were gonna do more, but I felt like their cost price was 40, so they, they didn't want to sell it. My peeps are getting swined up, man. He's selling him a paper hat for, for 20. Two US dollars. Yeah, he wants two US dollars worth, so that's that's about twelve yuan. Ah, he's so far. So yeah, they're trying to swindle him really hard. And this time it's a paper hat, not a Rolex. Keep in mind. But this is some really good live action, you know, in uh, Chinese merchant culture. This is why I'm a freaking merchant, you know, because I learn from the best. There you go, my friend uh, John. He has accepted. And the police are watching too. It's hilarious. Oh, the guards are watching, but it's okay. He's saying it's okay. You know, this is legal trade, legal transaction. This is very uh, sketchy, guys. So we're going in here to get some really famous Peking duck. So this is really insane. Meeting roast duck restaurant. Let's do it. Let's go in. Wow, man, they got a lot of famous people in here. I, somebody said Jet Li's in there. Oh my god, Jet Li back in the day, man. Wow. Yo. Jeez, everyone. That was like in probably 2000. Yeah, this must be like early 2000 or like the late 1990s. Yeah, man. Lots of cool, cool uh, dudes have been here. So yeah, he's uh, cutting off the skin. Oh boy, this looks so good. And yeah, here's like the full course, man. Just lots and lots of pecan duck, and it's a great the sauce. It's amazing with the food. And it just makes it in. It's kind of like a, you know, taco wrapping. So tia, tia wrapping. It's so good. And here's the remains of a long battle of pecan duck. It was, it was awesome. 
It's totally worth it. And here we are at the, the yeah, prime yeah. time of like life right yes. here. With everyone dancing there. Their socks off in the middle of nowhere, and I'm not participating because, you know, I'm not cool enough for them. So, so Stanley, what what is this place? And you know, tell me about it. The basics. Hi guys, we're at Mudatang. Oh uh, no, th that's in Shanghai though. Man. Oh. Wait, Alana, tell me about it. Can you give me some information of this place? What is this again? I forgot. Ho Hai. Ho Hai. Yeah. And. <laughs> I mean, I don't know too much about it. I know there's good nightlife, good bars. Oh, good nightlife. You're good gonna night get drunk today. Oh, no. wait, no, okay, you're just no. gonna buy stand. Yeah, I'm Okay, just gonna me, show me too. But yeah, it's really nice uh, here, yeah. definitely. Oh, pretty. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, th this is oh, the nightlife. I wanna go in here, I wanna go in this one. This one seems fun. Wow, they got a band in there too and everything. Yeah, they got live music. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is called the, the new trend, the Asperla. <laughs> New trend setting. <laughs> wow, these guys are awesome. You know, these guys are very uniformed up. Do you want to be in it? Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I'll give you guys credit. We, uh, we're on the top of the stairs. We're in Tiananmen Square area. This is the biggest uh, city center part in the world, right? Do you know the size? The size 60 of Massachusetts. Sixty soccer fields. Sixty soccer fields. Sixty soccer fields. <laughs> Uh, I'll do the half map. a million people put the feet in. Half a million people wow. at the one time. So there's a big building on our right, the Na China National Museum, National Museum of China. On the other side, opposite, is the uh, Parliament Building, officially the Great Hall of the People, Chinese Parliament Building. Great Hall of the People. A big, uh, big opening in the middle, the monument to people's heroes, remembering those who died in Chinese revolutions. <coughs> in the period of 1840 to 1949, so lots of revolutions took place. You can see the Bastille's armies depicting the all, all kinds of revolutions in that period. 1840, Opium War, uh, 1919, student demonstration against the Treaty of Versailles, uh, 1927, uh, uprising of communists uh, against the National People's Party, Chiang kai -shek. And then 1937 oh, yeah. to 1945, uh, war, the war against Japanese invasions in China for eight years. 1946 to 1949, civil war between Mao and Chiang Kai-shek. And 1949, <laughs> Mao took over, founded the People's Republic of China in 1949. So Tiananmen, the scale of heavenly peace. And ah. It was the main entrance to imperial city. Imperial. Why a forbidden city was the core of the imperial, the very center of the imperial. And then further on, we just passed another gate, right? So there's another wall around Imperial and Forbidden City. And then further on to the north, we're going this afternoon. The Great Wall, the lots of walls. Yeah. So the Emperor should feel, should feel secure, right? Yeah, Actually, lots of walls. He didn't. He was always worried about being assassinated. So he changed his place and he slept every night. You know, he Donald Trump. Knew where he was. You know, Donald Trump wants to build a wall. What do you think? <laughs> so we're going inside this building.